Good evening, everyone. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last box of this case, 2019 Topps Heritage Baseball. If there is a will, there is a way for Eric Ifland. Box five. Box five is the last box. You'll get an original 1970 card. We'll take a look at that afterwards. And Eric, of course, just as always, as, as reference, I want to show this on camera right here. We finally saw one of these, uh, well, it's not this, but one of the French back cards, French text. Right there. So those are the codes that you'll, that you'll need. I'm going to try to do my best to try to catch as many of those as possible. I'm going to skip the cards that are numbered 401 and up, the uh, base short prints, but you'll be able to spot those. Ooh, got that too. But I'll try to spot as much of the other, uh, the other variations and short prints as po as much as possible. But always be sure to do your due diligence as well. Double check and carefully look at the backs of those codes. You know, I'd like to, I feel like it's, I feel like it's short notice now. I've got a buddy's wedding at the end of March. It's eating up a lot of money. Eric, you want to come to Vegas? You guys want to come go to Vegas for the draft next year? 2020 draft will be in Las Vegas. Although I, I've had friends who spent some years in Nashville. Who say that uh, it's a very fun town. Like every, you know, being a big, big music guy myself, they're like any given week, almost any given bar, there'll be like some kind of live music in there. There's always shows going on. Patrick, hey, you're thinking about going to the draft in Vegas? That might be our first sort of sort of quasi pseudo impromptu unofficial Jaspi meetup. All right, what do we got here? It's, wow, Clubhouse Collection, hand-numbered 43 out of 99, Nolan Arenado. Nice, got a big payday. It's kind of a, this top a little loose. Fit nicely in a one thirty. But that's a, this is a nice Rocky right here, Eric. Hand numbered, and obviously Nolan Arenado, star player. It's pretty cool. All right. Next stack. Eric Eflin's in. He said he, he'll go to the draft in Vegas. Do a little uh, unofficial Jaspi meetup, number one. And we can try to plant something out.
Wow, Celtics are up 120 to 89 with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. I guess they were they, they were tired of all this drama. A lot of smiles on the bench there. EA saying his volunteer did not lose a game at home this year, 26 and 0. I better start doing tournament research. We gotta get our tournament promo going too. When are we gonna do that? There's a Paul de Young to nine ninety nine. Got the chrome finish on top. Uh, EA saying that anyone who goes to Nashville for the draft, he'll buy him a shot. That's a good deal if you're in the area. Who is in that area? Bulldog fan, Will Comstock may be in that area. There's got to be some other people in that area that could take advantage of that. You'll have to have some sort of secret handshake. I guess the secret signal could be the Big Hit Express. Just keep yelling that until you triangulate locations and then you can all meet up. You're like Kind of like a Marco Polo. Yeah, EA. <laughs> You can just you can set a designated bar, right, that you'll be stationed at or a designated location you'll be stationed at, at general region. And then every once in a while you'll just you'll just fire off an all aboard the big hit express train whistle with the woo woo. We need to get we need to get new t shirts, folks. So when, when, when you guys go to like these public events, I'm try to get you guys on camera. <laughs> I mean, not like not do anything illegal, like run on the field, but you know, if you can get yourself in front of a camera, show off Jaspi's case breaks, you know, in exchange for a little bit of break credit for that second of TV time. Ooh, this is cool. So, so Eric, on the back of this, this is card. I know it's kind of hard to see because I have the focus set a little bit differently. It says one, two, five at the end of that, right? I can't really tell the difference, but that's a team name color, which I don't think is very common. It's like one out of every 2,000 packs or so. So maybe the the Brewers are, are, are a different color, usually. Something like that. And they go different color scheme on that particular card. Yeah, sell it to Rory. Yeah, I'm sure his shop would want to would want that. Now, do, I want to see if maybe before we open up that last card, if there's 
another Brewers card where we can compare that to. All right, I do have some examples. So, look at this. So, a couple Brewers cards. The Brewers are in black, but this Yelich is in red. So there you go. I would, I would, I would assume that the all the other Brewers cards, their names are in black, and the Yelich one is especial because it's in red. Nice. Now, don't forget to look that up on the bay. I would imagine that some of these short prints could go for a lot. Christian Yelich is kind of a big name, too. Your NL MVP. All right. And your card is Ray Clark Washburn. Old Ray Washburn from the, uh, from the Reds. Everyone remembers him. All right. Wow. That in Tulsa for a little bit. Look at that. There you go. And there you have it, folks. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. The place to be. Um, I don't know if we have any more heritage after this, but if we do, keep an eye out on the, on the website and maybe we'll have some more. Uh, thanks to Eric Iflin for getting that per last personal box. It turned out to be a pretty solid one. Thanks, everyone, for uh, working through that case. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.